The 2023 Carolina Cup kicks off tomorrow in Camden. The event draws more than 30,000 people from across the country right here to the Palmetto State, specifically to the Midlands, even more specifically to Kershaw County. Joining me now for a look at what we can expect tomorrow, Mr. William Cox, chairman of the Carolina Cup Racing Association. Good to see you. Good morning, Darcy. Thanks Good for having me. Good to see you in your seersucker and your bow tie as the face of the Carolina Cup tomorrow. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Rain or shine, this is going to happen, right? Rain or shine, it's going to happen no matter what. All right, 30,000 people coming to watch a horse race, but it's more than that, right, William? It is. There's so much more than that. It is, it is, it's a community event. Um, it is it's the annual Rite of Spring for South Carolina. It's the first major event that, that happens in this state, and we're happy in Camden to be the ones to put it on. How long has the Carolina Cup been going on? This is the 88th running of the Carolina Cup. All right, you haven't been here for all 88 years, <laughs> but for the four years you've been board chair, how are things different this year than they were in years past? So the rebounding out of COVID uh, has been an amazing progress. Uh, we, there were some concerning moments there, but due to some, some uh, uh, ways some matters were handled by our former board chair, John Cushman, uh, we are leaner economically. We've uh, grown the event. We have so many more things for the family to use. The, this entire family event now, and uh, and we're just we're thrilled to have it and, and be able to put it on. When we talk about it being a family race, it's more than mm. mint juleps and seersuckers and beautiful hats. How is this an entire event for the family? Well, we have uh, the True Vista Kid Zone. We have the fa paddock shops where vendors come in and they sell their wares behind the grandstand and just a lot of things, Jack, Jack Russell Terrier races, we have a lot of things for people to do. All right, so now that we've got everybody interested, the folks who may for the first time be hearing about the Carolina Cup, now let's go over the details, the tickets, the parking, the time of arrival, the yeah. first race, let's go over that good all, stuff. All very important. Yeah. Get, so the gates open at 9 a.m. Uh, the first race is not until 1.30 p.m., but at that nine o'clock time period, the vendors are there, the vend shops are open, the people are milling around, they're becoming involved, they're getting excited. So there's a whole day that happens before the first race, uh, which again is at 1.30 1 in the afternoon till about five o'clock. Uh, tomorrow we will give out about, a, we'll give out $160,000 in race purses. Wow. So it's a big deal and a great day for the horsemen, for the jockeys and for our town. Sometimes traffic becomes a bit of a challenge. What do you say to people who, again, might be coming for the first time? It, it does. Hopefully there's nobody coming for the very first time. Uh -huh. but, uh, <laughs> but, but, but traffic can be an issue. We have, we have two roads that lead in that are, that are two lane roads, mm -hmm. not four lane roads, just two lane roads. So it's important to come early. It is important to look at the Carolina Cup website because there is a much more detailed map these days than, than it used to be. And if you're coming to a certain portion, either the infield or either the side of the infield, the new map will tell you which is the best route to use. I also want to uh, tell you that the Cool 102 local Camden radio station um, is going to have live traffic updates. So tune in to 102.7 for on your way in and also during race day because Cool 1027 is going to live stream the races as they're happening. So it's a really wonderful partnership with our local radio station to make sure people can, are able to get in efficiently and also enjoy the races while they're there. Obviously, we're super excited about watching the horses race, but it doesn't just end tomorrow. There's more to the Carolina Cup than tomorrow. There is more to Springdale Race Course than just tomorrow. Uh, the National Steeplechase Museum is located on the grounds of Springdale Race Course. It is open year round. Uh, there are no reservations required. There's no admission fee. Come on out, see what the sport has been, how, how, how important the sport has been nationally, internationally, and locally to South Carolina. All right, Mr. Cox, best of luck to you tomorrow. Thank I you. I hope your horse wins. I hope he does too. <laughs> go Gamecocks. And go Gamecocks, exactly. All